Hello, Jerry guys and gals. Um, it's Ronnie with the Jerry Life here with a bonus special advanced Team 24 survival guide. If you haven't seen Alex's video on Ape Tech, this will be building on that, so you definitely want to go check that out via the link in the description or clicking on the iCard. But let's dig into this. So, my per first piece of advice above what Alex provided is you need to stay hydrated. Let's face it, Las Vegas, it is in a desert. Outside it's going to be dry, inside it's going, probably going to be even drier. So you're going to dry out really fast. On top of that, uh, at these events, the drinks will flow. Um, if you're able and willing to drink alcohol, it's not hard to find. And with all that, you will need to stay hydrated. That being said, why not have fun with it? There will be plenty of vendors there with water bottles. Grab one, start going to all the other vendors that have stickers, um, and put them on to decorate the bottle. While you're gathering the stickers, don't forget to stop by Resolution to pick up the Jerry Guy stickers, um, Ape Tech Tech Tutorial stickers, and maybe even some TGAL stickers. So yeah, definitely keep that water foot bottle filled, keep it with you, and drink it often, because you will dry out. My second piece of advice is to the introverts out there. Um, it's going to be a very active place if you're some somebody whose social battery drains really fast. It is going to be especially draining. Um, I'm kind of borderline introvert myself, and I hurry off to my hotel each evening to um, just get some alone time and recharge so I can tackle the next day full steam. That being said, you need to have that escape place planned. You need to have your hotel, and if the hotel's not close by, you need to find somewhere else. Um, they do have some workspaces available um, on the second floor above the expo hall that you'll be able to use to um, just get some alone time. There's also a Starbucks not far from the expo hall that you'll be able to use to um, just recharge, settle down, maybe get coffee, play Switch, video games, read a book, whatever it is you do to recharge. But have that planned in advance. So next up, I'm going to talk about the advanced swag game. Um, Alex touched on this heavily, and he is not wrong. The swag will flow. Everyone will have one. Um, not only vendors at Latching themselves will have it. Some of the creators will have it. If you're looking for swag, this is the place to do it. But you have to come in to hand it. So per Alex in his video, yes, absolutely. You need to have the um, room in your luggage. But we could play some advanced games with that. Now, me personally, I have a collapsible duffel bag that I keep in my um, one of my bags. And it's there for... Um, I could just switch it out. I don't bring a carry-on normally with me. Um, I'll check um, one or both of my bags. I usually actually have them nested together, so I'm only going to the hotel with one bag, but it's filled with all my clothes and stuff, um, any swag I'm planning to give out, any contact information, all that stuff. And then um, when I get to Vegas, I'll start unpacking things and expanding out. And one of the first things I'll do is I'll move all my dirty clothes as I'm wearing them into that duffel bag. And that becomes my carry-on, which means I now have the two bags I could check. Um, again, check with your um, airline. Southwest will allow you to check two bags free of charge. Abuse that. Um, that way you can come home with as much as you want to. That being said, think about the swag game for a second. Don't just start going in there and grabbing everything. It's tempting. It's fun. I do get that. But scope it out first. See who has the cool stuff you might actually want. And beyond that, think about what will I actually use in my life. Because there's going to be a lot of swag that you get that's just going to sit around and collect dust otherwise. They're cool, yeah. They look nice, but... They're not really that useful. So my saying is I always try and prioritize the stuff I know I'll use. Now, the vendors, there's a reason they're giving you the swag for essentially free. And that's something you definitely need to consider. Because you're going up there, you're usually trading a badge can for whatever piece of item you want. What does that entail? Well, 
usually they're going to take that information, they're going to collate it, and you're going to get emails because they're trying to sell you something. Usually they're not even checking if you're already a customer, if you're someone who could be a customer. No, they're just flat emailing you as a blanket part of a group. So if you're someone who's already having a problem with spam, think about who you're giving that email to every time you scan your badge. And the worst offenders, yes, there are some, and maybe I'm showing my millennial a bit with this, but there are some vendors out there who will cold call you. Again, regardless of whether you're already a customer or not, whether you're paying or not, they're just going to call anyways because they got this contact information from the badge scan. So, be aware, be smart with your swag. If there's something cool and you really want it and you can really use it, absolutely, it will be worth that trade. But understand, you are making a trade there. Um, so, talking about vendors some more, there will be a ton of events going on around the conference. I, for one, will be speaking at Seabird's event the day before the conference even begins. Um, I know K15T has some, Adaptivist has events going on. There are all sorts of events surrounding Team 24, so don't focus in on just what Atlassian has on their official agenda. Do your research, talk to vendors if you already have those relationships, if you're already a customer. Say, hey, Team 24 is coming up, I'll be there, do you have anything going on? See if you can score a ticket. Um, if not, just keep your ear to the ground. There's a Trello board floating around, I know Funman Andy has it, that has all the events he is aware of already. That is something you may want to look at and go, does this make sense? Um, Think about it um, and do your research and see what's going on. If you do things right, and I did this last year for Team 23, you could go the entire week there without paying for a meal. And that is an incredible feeling. Um, again, understand you are making an economic trade. They view your data, your information that valuable, that's worth the trade off of the meal, but You've got to eat. So, you know, maybe it is a worthwhile trade for you. Do think about that. Um, and again, talking about vendors, they're going to be there in full force. They're not only going to have their sales team, they're going to have some support people. They're going to have some um, pro program managers, product managers. Make a list of your headaches in advance before you head there in JIRA and talk to the vendors See if any of them can solve the headache. If your headache is with a specific app, talk to their program manager, see if there's a way they can fix that. Um, and even if you can't find something to fix your problem right now, or the vendor you're talking to can't, keep them in mind, still talk to them, because you might learn something cool that you can use for some other project on down the line. Absolutely keep in mind, they're there to not only sell you something, they are there to sell you something, but they're also there to help you. If you're already a customer, talk to them. See, it, they love to hear the feedback on what are your pain points, what do you like about the app, all this. They're still gathering the information too, so absolutely talk to the vendors. They're going to be there for a reason. Likewise, Atlassian themselves will be there in full force. So if you have a problem, there will be someone there to talk to about it. If you have a question about a product, there will be someone there you can talk to. Even if you have a suggestion, there will be people from Atlassian you can talk to. So if you go this entire conference without speaking to these people, you have just wasted an amazing opportunity to help shape the products in a way that can help you down the line. I can't emphasize that enough. Atlassian, the whole reason they're putting this on is to A, announce what's happening over the next year with these products, but also get user feedback, get users engaged in the process. So if you're not taking advantage of that and talking with Atlassian about what features you like, what features you don't like, what things you'll change, all this, you're wasting an opportunity being at this event. That being said, um, my last bit of advice is something Alex already gave, but I'm going to absolutely harp on. The creators will be there 
more or less in full force. Not all of us can make it, but the vast majority of us are going to be there. If you see a creator you like and they're not busy, approach them. Talk to them. Shake their hand. Ask for an autograph. Take a picture with them. We are absolutely happy to spend time with you. We're going here to reconnect with you, our audience. So absolutely take the time. Say hi to us. We will love that. So if you see we're not busy, absolutely take the opportunity to meet us. You'll be happy. We'll be happy. It's going to be an amazing experience all together. Don't be worried about, oh, they're too busy. We may appear busy. We're going to be probably a little bit overwhelmed, but we'd still be happy to meet you. So absolutely thank you if you do stop by. That being said, are you heading to Team 24? We'll probably have some even more tips come Thursday. Um, this week we're speaking with Philip Product um, with our um, with the Atlassian Ventures team um, about what he does there and how Atlassian Ventures helps grow the ecosystem. And I do believe we're talking about having a segment with even more tips for Team 24 because that is the big thing coming up. We are having a full court press. We're having four four episodes airing of the Jera Live during Team 24. So if even if you can't attend, tune in. We'll be there. We'll be getting you updates. Absolutely, we'll enjoy it. And we'll see you on the other side. Peace. <laughs>